Hi, welcome to Big Monday. I'm Paul. In today's episode, we're going to deal with something that is pretty basic, but a lot of people don't really have a, a good feel for what voltage is and what wire feed speed is. So in today's episode, we're going to deal with voltage. Um, we're going to set a voltage, make a weld, and then we're going to alter that voltage to see what difference it makes in the weld. We're going to go up a little bit and down a little bit. What we're going to do is start off with what the machine settings are. Uh, as most of you know, you know, inside most of these small MIG welding machines is a uh, chart that will give you a cross-reference if you're using this size wire and this gas to set the voltage at this and the wire feed speed at that. Uh, those are pretty good, usually pretty good starting points. And of course, you can vary those. You know, they're not carved in stone. You can vary them to suit your welding needs. But let's try and figure out what varying them is going to do. And that way you know whether you want to change either the wire feed speed or the voltage. Voltage this week, next episode we'll deal with wire feed speed. When we do alter the voltage in, these, in, this, in this episode, uh, all the other factors are going to remain the same. I'm going to have the same flow rate with my gas. I'm going to use the same gas. We're using the same wire, same wire diameter, um, basically, uh, and the same travel speed because, uh, you know, as close as I can get to being the same travel speed, uh, you know, there, there might be some slight fluctuation there, but for all intents and purposes, it's going to be the same travel speed as well. And then once we do that, we can, we can go ahead and, uh, and kind of make some observations uh, about how the weld's going to be. And to keep everything uh, really, you know, for, at a comparative level, the little piece that I'm going to weld on, which is going to be this, uh, we're going to make the first weld. Then I'm going to have to quench this because if I just go ahead and make a change of voltage, make another weld, there's going to be a variable that we weren't counting on, and that would be the heat of the plate because once I weld on, it's going to get hot, and that's going to affect the bead shapes of the future welds. So after each weld, I'm going to quench the plate so that we're starting at the same temperature so everything's really apples to apples and oranges to oranges. So before I start, what I, what I want to also tell you is that, you know, the first setting that we're going to use is the one that's recommended by the chart and on my machine here. Uh, that setting was 326 inches of wire feed speed per minute and 20 volts. So that's the setting I'm going to use and then we're going to leave the wire feed speed the same and change voltage up and down for the demonstration purposes. All right, so let's make this weld. All right, we've completed our first weld using the suggested settings on the machine. Uh, now, we're gonna, I've taken it, I've quenched it. We're back to the same temperature as the, when we made the first weld so that we got apples and apples. Uh, what I've done now is I've reduced the voltage on the machine. It was at 20. I've left the wire, speed feed, the wire feed speed alone and reduced the voltage by three volts, you know, so we can see some, maybe see some dramatic differences. Uh, down to 17 volts. So now I'm going to make this weld and we'll see what happens there. Okay, that, that weld was at 17 volts and you can see that it's a little bit taller, a little ropier, a little more con con convex. Uh, at any rate, uh, and you can see it's a thinner weld too. It's not spread out as much. So I'm going to go quench this one, and then we're going to move the voltage in the other direction and see what happens. All right? I'll be right back. Okay. All right, we're about to make our last weld now. What I've done now is change the voltage from our original 20. I went down to 17. Now I'm going up three volts where I've set it up to 23 volts and we'll make the third weld and we'll see how that affects the, the bead shape of uh, our last weld. So here we go. All right, that's our third weld. That was raising the volts three, three volts over what the chart in the machine said. 
And as you can not only see, but you can also hear some dramatic differences with that weld. It was really kind of a sputtery uh, weld. But if you look at the weld, you can see it's a whole lot wider also because the increased voltage tends to spread the, volt, the, spread the weld bead out a little bit. So let me go quench this, clean it up, and then we'll take a good side-by-side -side look at it, all right? I'll be right back. Okay, there's our three welds. This first weld was the machine setting from the chart, uh, the machine setting that we got off the chart on the machine. The second weld, now that you can see, this is a, a pretty decent weld size-wise size and shape-wise. The second one is noticeably thinner and it's more crowned. It's a little higher bead profile. This is the one that we did with 17 volts. We turned it down voltage. And then this last one was the one where we turned it up three volts uh, to 23 volts. And you can see this one is much wider and flatter uh, and washed in. And kind of what you can draw from that is what voltage does to the weld, uh, the weld bead profile. You know, it's amps times volts is basically going to be your heat input. So as you increase your voltage, you, you get more heat input. And voltage, the, fa the voltage factor is really a bead-shaped thing. The, the more voltage, the flatter. Now, of course, you can go insane and get way too much voltage, too. You're talking within, within reason here. Uh, and then this, this middle weld, the one where we had 17 volts, you can see how that's a, a, a narrower, uh, uh, more highly crowned uh, uh, well bead because the voltage was less. So voltage kind of controls bead shape. It has a little bit of, of heat input issues, but for the most part it's, it's the, uh, the bead shape that's, that voltage controls. So hopefully that's answered some questions about voltage. Uh, in an upcoming episode we're going to do essentially the same thing, but we're going to be changing wire feed speed to see the impact that that has on the well bead. So anyway, for MIG Monday, that's it for this episode, and we'll see you next time around. Well, if you learned something today or like what you saw, please feel free to subscribe and keep an eye out for new episodes every MIG Monday.